What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. I just wanted to do a review of the Hogue extended cylinder release for Smith & Wesson revolvers. I just picked up these extended cylinder releases for my Smith & Wesson model 629 44 Magnum and my 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And these extended cylinder releases make it easier to do reloads. A lot of competition shooters use them. It makes it much easier to open your cylinder. And so I want to just show you what it looks like up close. Here's my Smith & Wesson Model 629 Performance Center with a 2 and 5 8 inch barrel 44 Magnum. And this is what the extended cylinder release looks like from Hogue, okay? Hogue is a great company. I have a lot of their grips, and uh, I have two of their stocks. I have one stock on my 300 Win Mag and uh, a Hogue stock also on my 416 Ruger. They make really great products, high quality. Now, I'm not being sponsored at all to uh, do this video. I'm just doing a review and uh, sharing a product that I think you might find useful. So it has this matte finish here, and um, you can see it has this nice uh, knurling here, or these kind of like lines that they um, milled into the back here, so you get good, you know, um, purchase on this release here, so your finger doesn't slip off. It's kind of like like grippy, you know, keeps your finger from sliding off. It's not slick or anything. And it just makes it a lot easier in a stressful situation or in a situation where you need to reload fast. It's a lot easier to just push the release down and you can actually swing it open with one hand. And that's something that's hard to do with a factory cylinder release. So... That's why I bought this extended cylinder release is so I can do one-handed reloads basically. I can swing the cylinder open with one hand. All I got to do is just push down on the extended release. Then I use my index finger here and I just swing it open. And obviously you don't want to do that a lot because it could damage the crane. But in an emergency situation... If I have to pop this thing open one-handed, I can do that. If I have a traditional factory style cylinder release, it's, it's harder to do that with one hand. And also, with the factory style cylinder releases, it's much easier to screw up in a stressful situation because it's very thin and it has a low profile, so... If you're wearing gloves or your hands are uh, sweaty or wet or they have oil on them, it might slip, you know, your finger might slip off when you're trying to open the cylinder when you're pushing down on the cylinder release. Even though these do have great knurling here, but still it's also very hard to do a one-handed uh, reload. When I say one-handed reload, I mean you don't have to take your your firing hand off the revolver. You can keep your firing hand on the revolver and you can reload with your support hand, okay? So, just wanted to show you guys this. I think it's a great product. They go for about $90 and um, just makes it much easier to open your cylinder. You just push down you know, you don't have to go in here and, and stick your thumb on the side. You just, you have this big area here where all you do is you just take your thumb and you, you can easily find it and just push forward and swing the cylinder open. That's pretty much it. I wanted to just share this with you guys. So the one that I got is the short extended cylinder release. They make a longer one that is like a half inch longer. I think this is a great product and I didn't go with the longer one only because 
The longer one, it like sticks out all the way out to here where my uh, index finger is here. It just sticks too far out. And I want to kind of maintain that low profile. I don't want any big things sticking out on the side here. It could interfere with manipulation of the hammer too. If you have your extended cylinder release coming all the way back here, if you have gloves or something, you know, it could possibly get in the way. So I didn't want it to get too massive and, and get in the way of things. I wanted something low profile that enhances the process of opening your cylinder. Okay, and I think this definitely does a good job at that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to my channel for more gear reviews. I have a lot of gear reviews. Check out my gear reviews playlist and... If you're interested in seeing some of my 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum videos, check out my 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum playlist. I also have a separate playlist for my 44 Magnum. I've done extensive tests with these two revolvers here, penetration tests, chronograph tests. So I highly recommend you guys check those playlists out if you're interested in these firearms and in these cartridges. But that's all I got for now. Take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.